Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. If there is one video that you're going to be watching full in full, then it should be this one because it's about what happened last night during the leadership hostings between uh, Liz Truss and Rishi Sunak. Uh, the argument came up about uh, all the other different policies, but primarily about wokeism and what's happening in the country and how even the so-called Conservative Party until now haven't really addressed these problems. Liz Truss decided to tackle them head on. First, she said this. But as well as freedom and democracy abroad, we also need it at home. And I know we've got an audience full of straight-talking Yorkshire people who know that a woman is a woman. And, and people, people, who believe, people who believe in free speech. Not only this was a dig out there, Penny Morden and the rest of the cabinet who were quite liberal-ish, uh, but it was also a dig out there, Rishi Sunak, who when a few months ago, when he was asked, what is a woman? He said, um, I'll just refer you to what the prime minister said. And then when he was asked, what did the prime minister say? He said, I don't remember actually what he said, but whatever he said, I am behind him 100%. He was fully behind the prime minister until he had to get rid of him. Interesting. But the rest of it uh, goes uh, to um, Liz Truss uh, answers some very in interesting questions about uh, not just women's rights, but also the safety of our girls. Uh, who we're with? Is it a young lady in a white uh, uh, jacket? Yes, please. Hello. I'll get out of your way. Hello, Liz. Thank you for taking my question. It relates some way to schools and to our young people. During lockdown, when the schools were closed, many schools, without consultation with parents, took the opportunity to remove all the girls' toilets and make all of the toilets mixed toilets. Wow. Now, we have girls across this whole country who will not go to the toilet during break times. They go back to their lessons, they put their hands up to go to the toilets, and the teacher says, you should have gone in break time. Now, I want the government, you brought in a policy recently mm. that said all new government buildings would have separate toilets for men and women. I want you to bring in a policy that guarantees that our daughters can go to a toilet in a safe environment in any school in this country. Two things. One, I'm actually very pleased to see that uh, the majority of the audience uh, passionately were applauding that question. So there is still a bit of a hope when it comes to the Conservative grassroots, at least. The members of the Conservative Party are still pretty sound and conservative. So that's good to hear. Uh, secondly, it, it is a very important question because it's one of those like um, stories and uh, issues that you don't really hear much about, um, especially when it comes to what's been happening at schools since the lockdown days and Listras says this I I complete I completely agree with you I have sought to clarify that as women's minister I've been very clear that single sex spaces should be protected particularly for young people as well as vulnerable people in for vulnerable women in yeah. domestic violence shelters uh, for example and I can assure you, as Prime Minister, I would direct that to happen because yeah. our girls need, you know, it's a difficult time being a teenager, uh, being a young girl, and you should be able to have the privacy you need in your own loo. So I 100% agree with you and I would make that happen. Okay. Now, that would be a very, very good answer. And, and I hope to actually see some action from uh, this um, upcoming government that... Uh, it seems to be Liz Truss's government. So the way it, look, it looks is that Rishi Sunak is not going to win the election anyway. So uh, unless some weird stuff happens in this uh, race. Now, Nick Ferrari decides to uh, grill Liz Truss a bit more. And it actually works out quite fine. And a lot of support. <laughs> but what of a pupil who is transitioning? <laughs> Where does That's interesting. Because he's, he's, he's going to ask, what about, what about the kids? who are transitioning so if you, if you see it that way it will be a very complicated situation but let's trust simplifies it he she go to the toilet well first we have, of all I, no i asked do we have boys girls well, and well, a another f first of all i do not believe that under 18 should be able to make irreversible decisions about their own bodies <laughs> that they might they might come to regret later so i think it's very important to note that and of course Schools should be sensitive, they can provide additional f facilities, but it should not be at the expense mm. of protecting young girls. All right, thank you for that.
absolutely spot on. Common sense is back to an extent, at least uh, when it comes to Liz Truss's uh, leadership uh, campaign. So that's it. Here we are. We have some actually a, a politician who answers the question in a straightforward, in a proper way, rather than just go wishy washy and try to go around the question and answer a different question that you want. This is what we want. You know, I'm, I'm still, you know, you have to question everything and everyone, including yourselves. Uh, you can't just be completely uh, oblivious to uh, people's flaws, including a leadership candidate, Liz Truss, as preached by Minister. She still has a lot of issues um, that I will be continuing to criticize and hold them to account. We have to do it, uh, but it's best not to be Puritan, but it also is good not to be completely dismissive. And so if they if they do something right, I will praise them. If they do something stupid, I will call them out. That's what we do on this channel. And if you enjoyed that content, uh, share that video, comment. And also, if you like this anti-globalist t-shirt, Build Back Britain, to fight against WF's Build Back Better, then you can get, the, get your own t-shirt. The link is in the description. And my Susie and we are the media.